as you can see. She's in pieces. All right, that's it. I'm making a video about it. I'm making a video about it. I've got a 4L60E in here on my bench, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what can happen if you install your torque converter wrong and you go ahead and bolt those bell housing bolts up and you take that leap of faith because then it comes back on the transmission builder and they get told that they're, oh, you're a bad transmission builder because they're afraid to actually come out and say, oh, hey, I messed up. I installed the torque converter wrong. So honesty is always the best policy. And luckily I have great customers. At the same time, it's easily preventable. It's easily preventable. It's not It's not rocket science like some people make it out to be. It's not. I've got an old core out here that I can use as an example. Um, I don't have any units on the shelf right now that I can use. So we're gonna use this used torque converter here and show you exactly how far it should be into the transmission before you bolt your bell housing up. Just because your torque converter is inside of your seal does not mean it is engaged with the pump rotor. There's a high probability that it could be sitting in there just like this instead of that. Now, if you bolt it up like this, it's gonna break the two teeth off and then it might run for a while, it might work fine for a while, but eventually it's gonna turn, lock, and once it locks at a high RPM, it's gonna shatter this whole entire pump rotor here. And all of these little veins and these, these square veins right here are gonna explode and absolutely destroy your pump. All right, we got the transmission on the bench here. I'm gonna take this pump out and show you guys exactly what happened to this unit. There's a little slot here in between the pump and the drum. Normally you just pop them out. Sometimes they can be a little tricky, but right, go ahead and pull your pump out. This is a 2004 4L60E I built about one month ago. The customer got it in and then said it shifted great for the first couple of days. If you look really closely, you can see the chewed up pump gear right here. It went to all neutrals. We're gonna flip this thing over and check out what's up with it. Oh yeah. As you can see, she's in pieces pretty good guy he was pretty honest with me he brought it back here no questions asked upon further investigation we found out that his transmission mount was bad as well when this rubber comes off the stud goes with it stuck to the cross member and this stays on the transmission and it comes off very easily so it allows the transmission to bounce up and down it also caused a crack in the top of his bell housing right here it right there so just from a bad transmission mount we have a blown up pump luckily the transmission's still good whenever he heard the noise occur he stopped put it in park and towed the vehicle that is exactly what you do in that point commended him for it because a lot of people just keep trying to drive things and obviously if it's that bad just after a split second it's going to get much worse and it could have spread through the whole entire transmission. The pump stator has some marks on it, but I can't feel anything with my nail or my finger. So luckily it didn't damage the stator. And we can, we can freshen that up and we can get a, a new pump casing and we'll be back on the road. So to prevent any more failures of such nature in the future, we got him a brand new transmission mount we got him a new bell housing, we got him a new pump casing, and we also encouraged him to change mechanics. All right, so I've got a brand new Turbo 350 pump, and I've got a brand new 350 torque converter. Go ahead and put your converter in your pump, or in this case, pump in your converter. You look in between the pump and the torque converter, 
you should see the seal of the pump almost seated flat against the valve. Once you verify that your torque converter is flush with your pump, go ahead and double check by spinning it freely while it's in the vehicle after you get your bell housing bolted up. Desired spacing from the torque converter to flywheel is an eighth to a quarter inch. Now, you have to compensate for ballooning when it comes down to high horsepower applications. That's when the valley of the torque converter rises. So you can get a false reading and end up in the fence. 